Hi, happy Monday. Welcome to the week. Welcome to Silver Sneakers Flex. So today we are going to do kind of an all, all over workout just to get us reared up for the week ahead. You're going to need some weights or something you can use as weight. So I have little weights, but if you want cans or bottles of water, those will work. Um, a chair, and that chair is there for you to either sit down or to use for balance if you need to use it. I'm going to invite you all to try to stay stand as much as, standing as much as you can throughout your workout, um, just, to, just to be up, to be um, out of that sitting position that so many of us can get into. The third thing I would like you to do is make sure that you have something to hydrate with. Um, water with a little bit of lemon in it, it's a great thing to get. So I may have an assistant here today, his name is Parker, he's my dad's Rottweiler, so uh, he's hearing me. Um, so if he walks in, just ignore him. He's super cute, um, and hopefully he won't do anything bad. So we're going to start with a brisk little walk. We're going to then pause, do just a little bit of intuitive kind of stretching balance, and then we'll do some weightlifting. All right, so let's just start to walk. So for today's walk, I'm not coming to high knees, but I'm not staying in my normal heel rolls either, my heel pumps. I'm lifting my feet up off the ground and I have my arms mimicking walk. In fact, they're slightly exaggerated um, what I would do if I was naturally walking. So I'm walking like I have purpose, I have some place to go. Okay, so let's count down here and then we're gonna come to some points. So we're gonna start with the left foot as always and we'll start with the point. So we're gonna go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and point. And just swing those arms for me, point and point. This is going to be our first position. Point, point. The next thing we're going to do is start to go out to the side. So we'll do four, three, two, one, and we'll go out to the side, out to the side. So my arms are going the same way as my foot and I'm kind of swinging them across the front. That's going to have the extra benefit of kind of pumping that upper body up. Now can we come back pointing forward with the left foot point? Point, point, point. We're gonna do four, three, two. To the side, we'll go out, 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 out. We're gonna do four, three, two, one. Four front, four, three, two, one. Four side, four, three, two, one. Back to front, back to side. Back to front, back to side. We're gonna add a tap going backwards. So we'll tap, 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 just to the left. Three, two, one. Alternate, alternate, just to the right. Four, three, two, again, we'll go alternate. We're gonna stay on the left and go four, three, two, one. Alternate on the right. Three, two, back to the side. Left foot goes out and out and out and out. Get those arms moving. We're gonna come forward, 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 four, three, we're gonna add them all together. So let's do side, side. We're gonna go back, back, back to the side, side to the front, side, side, back, back, side, side, front, front, side, side, back back, side, side. So do you remember when we stayed to the side? We're gonna go four, three, two, I meant same, the same side. Three, two, one, same side. So this helps our balance because there's this time when we're on one foot. So let's really exaggerate that. Let's hold the leg out. There we go. Hold the leg out. There we go. Now go forward and forward, just to the left. Four, three, two, one. Alternate, 
alternate, alternate, just to the right, four, three, two, one, and march. Upright, big deep breath. Let's start to go forward and go back. We're gonna go forward, step, 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 and back. Step, step, remember this one? We go forward, left, right, left, right, back. Left, right, left, back, walk. And walk, almost done. Almost done. Now, walking our feet out to hip distance apart. We're just gonna walk them out a little. We're gonna slow down and we're gonna start coming to a rock and a point. So we're just rocking. Sway your arms back and forth. Now we're gonna do a big circle. So we're gonna come out to the left, over to the right. Now can we go the other way? As you go to the right, take your arms up, bring them down, sway it back. All right, so slow your sway, turn your toes out just a little, belly's up and in, tailbone is down, bend your knees just a little. We're going to bend at our hips, scoop down, lift it up, bring big circles around, roll your left arm back. Roll your right arm back. Kick it up. Lift it up. Roll them down. Left shoulder rolls. Right shoulder rolls. One more time. Reach down, flat back. Pick it up. Overhead. Float those arms down. Let it roll. Let it roll. So we're going to roll over. Roll over. Bend through your knees. Bend through your knees, bring it all the way over to the left and hold. All right, so we're standing on this left leg. We're gonna try not to lock our knee out. And my toes are turned out just a little for balance. This is a little bit harder for me to balance, but if I open up, now that's okay with my hips. If that is a rotation that your hip doesn't wanna make, your leg can be parallel, okay? Any precautions you have trump anything that I say hands on my hips, I'm going to lift up this right leg, come out in front and start to draw some circles, drawing around. Now go back the opposite way. Point and flex. At any point in time, I can tap my foot down. I can come down and pick it back up. Now let's stretch it out, come all the way over. Find your balance. Remember you're using a chair if you'd like. Legs gonna come up. You're gonna start to draw some circles one way. And go back. So I'm trying to slow it down a little bit. That challenge is my balance, point and flex. And it also gives me a chance to kind of reflect on the state of my range of motion today. Is it easy to revolve that ankle today? Or is it hard? Is this an area I need to baby or concentrate on? Um, I'll let you know. Now, come back, feet somewhat parallel. Use the chair, we're gonna come up onto heel raises now. So if you need the chair for balance, please use the chair for balance. We're gonna do eight. We're gonna pull that belly up and in, and lift up, and come down. Lift up, and bring it down. Lift up and down. We're halfway there. This is number four. All right. So as you're starting to come up and feel warm in your back, squeeze your bum. We're going to hold at the top of the last one. So this is number seven. The next one we're going to hold. So come up. Now push down through those big toes. Lift through your belly. Drop your tailbone. If you feel like lifting your hands up off those chairs, lift the hands. Let's count. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And bring it down. Go ahead, shake it out. So back of your legs, back of your rear ends, your glutes, probably on fire. Probably not happy with me. Now, 
what we're going to do is a little step to this side squat. The squat's going to be in the middle. So I'm going to start with my left leg, watch me, step up over the bathtub, squat down, bring it up and step into the bathtub. So there's going to be that little pause squat. So once again, lift it up into the bathtub, lift your toes, little mini squat, and then press up and come over. That moment in between, that's our moment of balance. So these aren't going to go super rapid quick, but I want you to focus on those moments of balance because it's very functional as we're stepping in and out of those tubs. So let's start to the left. Use your chair if you need to. Here we go. Squat, weights directly distributed between those two legs. Lift it up, bring it in. Bring my hands down, you don't have to keep your hands out. So this long lever shape with my hands is um, a way to help me balance. When I come closer to my chest, I'm gonna be thrown off balance a little. So I can come up, reach out, okay? And then as I come in, I'll go ahead and pull my arms in. We've got, we're gonna step in and out two more times. So we're coming out, bring it in. Here we go. Bring it in. Energy conservation, anything you want to skip, any repetition that you don't feel right taking, conserve that energy, and then just make the repetitions that you do perfect, as perfect as you can. Last time, let's get out. Shake everything out. Shake everything out. Um, I'm actually going to hold on to the chair for this one. Just going to do a couple of step, step back to warrior lunge and a step back to lunge. I'm going to alternate. <clears throat> so my outside leg, actually let's have inside leg. Our inside leg is going to be the step back. Outside leg is going to be our tripod. Make sure that your outside knee stays over your ankle. So I've come up closer to the front of my chair, my arm is reaching back a little here. There's a reason for this. If I'm in line with my chair and I step back, I, I could pull on that chair. When I'm here and I step back, it puts my arm kind of right where it needs to be. All right, so watch. Belly up and in. I'm gonna step back to warrior lunge. So I'm gonna land on my foot, bend my knee, bring it back. And then I'm gonna step back onto my toe lunge and bring it up. So with me, step it back, warrior one, bring it up. Let's do another one of those. Take it back, land on your foot, bring it forward. Now, take it back. So that's your warrior lunge. You don't have to, al you don't have to alternate. I'm gonna go back to lunge now and alternate a few times. You can stay with that warrior one if it feels better. So we're back warrior one and up, lunge and up. Last time I'm going to go back and up, lunge, hold. Make sure your torso's up. Hold this strong lunge for me. Let's count eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, hop it up, shake it out, and you're gonna slow walk to the other side of your chair. I'm gonna move mine. Remember, outside leg is your steady leg. You're gonna move with your inside leg, your up towards the front of the chair, so that left shoulder stretching back a little, hand to hip for extra balance. Three warrior lunges. We go back. Bring it up. And this is just to let you know your options. What's important here is we're just practicing stepping backwards. So if landing on that foot feels better for you, that's fine. I'm gonna start alternating to a lunge. I'm up on my toes. 
bring it in. Warrior lunge, bring it forward, lunge, last ones. Warrior lunge, and this is that one we hold. We take it back and we're gonna hold. Get my tailbone settling down, high on my toes, strong in those quads in front of my leg. Here we go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hop it up, shake it off. All right, let's take a drink break. Let's take a water break. I almost forgot. So if you guys don't help me, if you don't hear me say drink and it's been 10 minutes has elapsed, I want you to go ahead and just drink without me. All right, last, last upper body thing. I am not gonna use my chair for this, but please feel free to use your chair for balance. Just gonna do some leg lifts, forward, inside. So if you're standing away from your chair, hands are gonna stay on your hips. If you're using your chair, um, as you alternate, opposite hand, hand on chair, hands on hip, okay? Your outside leg will move. If you try to move your inside leg here, it is going to hit the chair. All right, so I'm gonna stand tall. I like to be about hip distance apart. Take that weight over. I'm going towards my right. My left leg is going to move. So I'm gonna take my left leg up, touch the toe down on the ground, lift it up and bring it in. Take it up, let your toe touch the ground, lift it up, bring it in. Kick it up, touch the ground, pull your belly up and in, lift and bring it down. One last time, take it up, touch the ground, lift it up, bring it down. Eight to the side, we take it out, bring it in, out, and in. Take the reps that feel good. What is important is that we're moving our body in some way, in some shape. Let's do three, two, one, all right, shake everything out. Ooh, that standing leg, right? That should really be working. Okay, so our pattern, we have eight kicks. It's a touch lift all the way down. So here we go, we'll take it out, touch your toe to the ground, lift it up, bring your heels together. Take it out, touch your toe, lift it up, together. Out, touch, Lift, here we go. Out, touch, lift. Eight to the side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, now walk it out. Walk it out. Walk it out. All right, go ahead, grab your weights. This part, standing or seated, up to you. So I've got my two pound weights. You can use whatever pounds you have. I'm gonna do both arms at one time. So we're gonna start, I call them chicken wing lifts, but they're called um, 90 degree elbow lat lifts. I think chicken wing is better, but whatever. Roll your shoulders up around. Here we are at 90 degrees. So we'll take them up. Bring it down, up, and down, up, and down. We're gonna change it just a little. We're gonna come up, hold, extend the arms out, bring it back, and down. Up, extend, bend your elbows, bring them in. Okay, up, out, in, and down. Now hold them out, up, out. Turn your palms towards me, let's roll circles. Here we go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and reverse. Now bring your arms up, extend them out, palms towards me. 
bend your elbows, extend it out, work in the triceps, up, take them down, up and hold. Let's close them in. So let's hide our face, squish it open, hide, open, close, open, close, open and extend. Let's draw some circles. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and reverse. Three, two, one, float your arms down. Roll your shoulders and bring it down. Roll your shoulders, bring them down. Continuous circle around and down. Continuous circle around and down. Now let's reverse. Roll your shoulders. So these are weighted shoulder rolls. Roll your shoulders. Adding a little bit of weight. Roll your shoulders. One more time. Roll your shoulders. Now bring your arms back up to 90 degrees. Let's take it out and in. Take it out and in. Take it out and in. Take it out. We're going to add on. So we'll take our arms out. Take that left arm, reach it up, squeeze it in. Bring them in. Open up. Right arm lifts up. Squeeze it in. So see how it moves with that um, bent elbow. Take it up and down. In. And out. So now we're going to do them double at the same time. So we'll go in, open, lift, down. In. Make your movements precise, crisp, and flowy. One more. All right. So from here, we're going to take those arms back. I bent my knees. I'm in a little bit of a squat. Feel free to stay up. I like to squat motion though, okay? Squeeze, extend, bring it in, extend, bring it in, extend, bring it in. So you are squeezing the back of your arms as you go so that you feel those muscles. Wake up in the back of your arms. Squeeze, bring it in one more time. Squeeze, bring it in. All right, let's lift and down. Lift and down. Lift and down. Lift and down. Roll it up. Okay, go ahead, put your weights down, take a sip. We're just going to stretch now. We're almost done. Time goes by quicker and quicker, especially on Mondays. Let's start to roll our wrist. So we're just going to roll our wrist one way, whatever stance you want. So I'm in a staggered stance. This is one of our um, more secure stances. So I can um, adjust to other weight. Could be here. Roll your wrist the other way. Now let's take our fingers down and wiggle. Take them up and wiggle. Do some figure eights, some infinity signs with your wrist. Go back the other way. Cross your midline. Just tap your hands to opposite shoulder. Tap, 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 tap. Go ahead, take that left arm across. A little stretch. Right arm across. A little stretch. Bend your knees. Big range of motion circles. Big range of motion circles. Big. One more time. Big, and then go back. I like to alternate like a backstroke. Bring them back. All right, drop your chin. Roll to one side. Roll to the other side. All right. Well, guys, welcome to Monday. Welcome to another week. Yay, I'm glad you were here. I'm glad you took the time for yourself. Keep your eye on the weather advisories. Make sure that you're staying hydrated during the day, especially if you're going outside where it's um, hot. And remember what I said last week, 
if you're thirsty, you're already dehydrated. So we're trying to stay ahead of that and drink as much as we can. All right, so um, Monday, hey. Tuesday, Thursday, yoga. Wednesday, stability, and Friday, we will do flex again. So that's our plan for the week, and make sure that you check the website to see what the live schedule is. Add in classes all the time. And I hope to see you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye.